Hi everyone, today I'm bringing you new science, new technology, and the new maestro. That is today's topic. So if you've never heard of maestro or skin better science or plant adaptogens, then you will learn an awful lot in this video. So please like the video, subscribe and share with your friends to help my channel grow. Now, let's start off by talking about plant adaptogens the science behind them i will leave a link a paper that i found down below that was published in 2021 about plant adaptogens then we're going to get into the creation of this product the research trial for this product how to use and really what my experience has been watching how people have responded to this product so that's the video in a nutshell. Plant adaptogens have actually been used orally for many, many decades. They were used to help physical weakness, different illnesses, also impaired mental cognition. And over the past 50 years, they have been used by athletes to improve their performance and their endurance. The current hypothesis is that plant adaptogens could have a role in helping chronic fatigue, mental impairment, and immune compromise. So they are a researched uh, molecule. Well, it's not really one molecule. It's a research concept uh, that has been studied over decades. And there are synthetic and natural adaptogens. Natural adaptogens are derived from herbs, from roots, and from mushrooms. So if you've ever heard of echinacea or if you've ever heard of ashwagandha, those are just two examples of different types of plant adaptogens. Now what's especially interesting is that the way adaptogens work is not based on a single particular molecule, but actually a combination of different molecules that work together or synergistically to create the desired outcome or to boost the effect of the immune system or of resistance to stress. So it's a, it's a multi-play, multi-molecule, multifactorial type of an effect. If you're interested in learning more, I will link an article down in the description box that you can take a look at and read more about plant adaptogens in general. But now moving on to Skin Better Science, they have created something that is brand new on the market that is new and innovative and just ahead of everyone else in terms of technology. They have taken this wealth of information and created a product called Maestro based on plant adaptogens. So how did they do it? They started off with 2000 herbs, roots, and mushrooms. So all of the adaptogens in this product are derived from nature. None of them are synthetic and they narrowed it down to nine adaptogens that work best together, that play the best together, that give the optimal results. So this list of nine herbs and root extracts has been combined together in something they call PATH technology. PATH standing for Plant Adaptogens Targeting Homeostasis. That is the name of the path technology. What it means is it's these plant adaptogens, these extracts targeting homeostasis, and that's just a fancy word for balance. The idea is that this product restores skin back to its balance. If the skin overproduces oil, this technology will diminish oil production, thereby it will diminish pores. It also helps with redness and uneven texture. So those are the specific targets of the product that were observed and studied in the clinical trials. While the nine plant adaptogens are the star of this product, let's talk about the other ingredients in here that may affect how you use this. So. This product also contains niacinamide. It also contains three potent antioxidants in the form of ergothionine, alpha lipoic acid, and astaxanthin. In addition to antioxidants, there are hydrating properties in here, which include isosorbide dicaprolate, niacinamide, and hydrolyzed um, hyaluronic acid. 
And to top it all off and protect the skin barrier, squalene has also been added to this product. Now, why is that important? The primary importance with this is while this is not an antioxidant formulation and it is not a hydrating formulation, because these ingredients were added to add a little bit of hydration and add a little bit of antioxidant protection, it may alter how much of other products you use. For example, I find that I don't need as much hydration. I don't use as much Trio when I use this product because the added hydration in this product with just a little bit of Trio is all I need. So since I started using this product, I have actually decreased the amount of Trio that I apply to my skin. And I just listen to my skin as I always advise everyone watch your skin, see how it's responding and, you know, change your protocols accordingly. And I've had a few people with oily skin uh, tell me the same thing. So since starting Maestro, they have decreased the amount of hydrators that they're using in their protocols. Let me show you what this product looks like. It does have turmeric in it and astroxanthin, so it has a little bit of an orange color and it is a pretty creamy texture. And there is a little caveat or a secret to this product, um, and I've heard this from several people as well. Uh, several people have said, it makes me orange. And the answer to that is, then use less. This product really goes a long way, so you can use as little as half a pump twice a day, or you can use one full pump twice a day. If you find that you're orange, you're using too much for your skin and lower the dose. Now, how do you use this and when do you use this? If you are on a Skin Better Science regimen, you would apply your Alto or Alto Advanced first, then you would apply your pigment inhibitor, which would be your even tone. Maestro would be third in line, so it would come after even tone. And Trio, which is your hydrator, would come last. You may find you don't need Trio, or if you don't use Alto or you don't use even tone, the order would still be the same, minus whatever products you don't use. Uh, this bottle is 30 milliliters or one fluid ounce, and there are 150 pumps in here. So if you use this product twice a day with half a pump, it will last you five months. Now, I've, the way you use it is once you apply it to your skin, you massage it in until it's fully absorbed. It's the only Skin Better Science product where the, in, uh, the instructions are that you massage it into the skin until it is fully absorbed. And you can blend it into the hairline and blend it into your eyebrows. And I think the idea of that is to diminish that orange discoloration. So you just really wanna massage it in and blend it out. Now, I just rubbed this into my skin and I don't know if you can tell if there's a difference, but I don't find this product makes me orange at all. So I can use one pump and have no issues with it. The only change I've made with this product is I now use less hydration. Now, what results have I personally seen with this product? The main result for me, and I, I'm not very red, so redness is not a concern for me, but I do struggle with oil and with pores, particularly in the typical T-zone. And I have noticed this has significantly diminished my oil and is improving my pores. So that's exciting because nobody likes big visible pores. So I've been really happy with this product and I've been really loving it. Now let's talk about the research trial that Skin Better did on this product. They had 53 participants in all Fitzpatrick uh, skin tones, in other words, from the lightest to the darkest skin tones. The majority were women. The races really varied across the world. And they used the gentle cleanser in the morning and in the evening, Maestro in the morning and in the evening, and hydration boosting cream in the morning and evening, as well as a sheer SPF 56 sunscreen. So that was the that was the skincare regimen for the trial. And the evaluation was for improvement from baseline in the appearance of redness, skin roughness, texture, skin dullness, pore size, and uneven pigmentation. 
So they were evaluated with global skin quality changes from baseline using global skin quality index and evaluated for patient satisfaction with a questionnaire and skin sebum levels were also quantified from baseline. Now, after eight weeks, 98% of patients reported that their pores were less visible and 98% of patients felt that their skin was less oily and greasy after 12 weeks of use, which is pretty remarkable for oil production. And 94% of participants saw an overall quality improvement in their skin after only two weeks and 100% of the participants said there was overall improvement in the quality of their skin after 12 weeks. So the highlight of this research study was essentially twofold, improvement in redness and improvement in oil production and pore size. They also had improvements across the other categories and if you're interested, you can go on the Skin Better website under the product and there you can see a lot of before and after photos and you can see more information about the trial. But like I said, the highlights were improvement in redness and diminished oil production. So this product hasn't been out on the market for very long, but I think it's extremely promising for cases of rosacea and cases of acne, and of course, anyone with redness or oily skin. It's really becoming a game changer. It isn't a substitute for any particular product because it's a brand new innovative technology. And I think the most important thing to remember when using this product is a little goes a long way. You really don't need a lot of product to start seeing results. So I'm loving it. Uh, my patients are loving it. I've had one person who is sensitive to niacinamide and sensitive to other products with niacinamide, uh, not like this product for the niacinamide component of it. So that's unfortunate, but otherwise I've not had any negative feedback. Uh, I've had positive response in terms of redness in my personal experience and also with oil. So, so far it's a star all around. If you have tried it, I would love to know what your thoughts on it are. So please share if you would like to try this product, I will leave a shopping link down below. And if you guys have any questions, leave them down below and I'll see you in the comments.